Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am here with press-ons by Betty Cora, and trust me, you do not want to miss this. So let's get started. Ooh, have I got some cute press-ons for you guys today. It is by the company Betty Cora. They are a cruelty-free and vegan beauty brand that focuses on trendy press-on nails. And when I tell you that the amount of press-ons that they have on their website is insane and each and every single one is unique and different. Now, I was sent six. I wore one on vacation and I posted on Instagram. So you would have seen it there, but I have this one, which is, ooh, which is very different, very much like avant-garde, just something that I wouldn't necessarily draw like or do myself, but I think it's so stunning. And then I got a pair of black toenail press-ons because I feel like black is like my color, my go-to color. And then these are just some shorties that I got for when I just don't really feel like doing my nails, but I wanna have a little something on there. I thought they were fun for spring because they're all different colored tips. We have this gorgeous little yellow set that's got flowers and when I tell you they give you a lot of like the detailed nails so you could do all detail or just one accent nail whatever you want they supply it and then this is the one that I'm going to be wearing today and it is just a green coffin set what is wrong with me I cannot speak it's just a green coffin set that has some flower accents and I don't know why I'm drawn to this one today this is the one that I want to wear so that's what we're gonna do now in case you want to save some coin Betty Cora did give me a 20% coupon code which I will pop on screen now you can also receive their free gel remover if you type the word gift that's g-i-f-t into the notes section when you're checking out so let's go ahead and I'm gonna open this baby up so we can see more detail of this one okay so in the packaging we of course have the nails we also have a nice little card from them we have their sticky tabs Ooh. And we have their glue. Now I'm glad they provided both because today I'm gonna show you how I get my press on nails to last two weeks, if not longer, by using both of these. I know, might sound weird to you. Then we have our instructions here and just some tips and tricks on how to not only apply them, but also remove the tips. And then we get our prep packet here. I know, you're probably wondering, what happened to your beautiful nail set? They popped off like I wanted them to. Actually, they all popped off before I got a chance to take pictures, and then I applied them with nail glue, and now they're starting to pop off again, which, like I said, I'm totally fine with. I want my nails to start coming off on their own if they can, like with press-ons, or I bought the Jello Jello peel-off base coat, but it seems to work rather well, and they come off very easily but that's neither here nor there. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna kind of clean up and I'm gonna start prepping my nails for this. Now, first order of prep that I like to do is push back my cuticles. That is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna trim them. I'm not gonna remove them. I'm simply going to use what's in the kit to do my nails. So the first thing I do is I just start pushing back my cuticles. You guys basically already know how to do that, I would assume. Just trying to make sure that there's no like cuticle on the nail plate, which that file will help you remove that as well. So I'm gonna do that to all my nails. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is just take this little file and just kind of buff up my nail a little bit, kind of removing the shine. I'm not really trying to like, you know, remove a layer of my nail. I'm just trying to remove the shine. So I'm not pressing too hard. I am just, you know, rubbing it on my nail basically. <laughs> okay. I don't know about you, but when I'm doing press-ons, it's just because I need something quick. You know, I I actually did wear one of their press-ons on vacation. I'll pop the ones on screen that I wore. They were like this black and white French set that I wore, and they were really cute, and they lasted me that and the week after. And I had put them on like three days before. So we're talking like, you know, maybe 16, 17 days that I had them on for. All right, let me go ahead and buff up the rest of the nails, and I'll be back. I'm doing all of this with my opposite hand right now, so it's really kind of challenging. <laughs> now I'm going to cleanse my nails with the alcohol wipe to 
get all the dust and debris off and also sort of dehydrate my nails even farther. I'm trying to use what's in the kit. And the reason that I'm doing this because my opinion is most people that are buying press on nails do not have like a collection like I have of files and whatnot. So they're using what's in the kits to do their nails. Maybe they have a bigger file than this teeny tiny guy, but whatever. I'm trying to be realistic here. How I'm gonna put those sticky tabs on here. Oh Lord, I don't know with these long nails. Okay, now I will pick out my sizes and then I'll come back and show you guys what I've picked out. The one thing that I noticed about this set of nails versus the one that I wore on vacation is that they seem to have a lot more sizes. That one, I had a really hard time like picking my sizes out. They seemed to be really small. I think it was just because it was like, like an almond shape. So they were very small. They were hard to find sizes. Like, I don't know if I have enough left to do another set with that one, but it is what it is. I'll, you know, I'll see what I can do. I, if I have to file down some of the bigger ones, that's fine. All right, let me pick my sizes out. I got all my sizes picked out and these are adorable. I cannot wait to wear them. And I had a much easier time like picking out sizes for these. I did have a hard time. Like, I don't know what it is. Like my middle finger is so weird. Like I have a hard time finding sizes for that one sometimes. Like, I don't know. It's like in between sizes between my like index and middle. Yeah, I did just do that to my fingers. <laughs> so weird sometimes, I swear to God. Okay. I'm gonna show you how I get them to last so long. So the first thing that I do, I pick out the little sticky tab that's gonna fit on the thumb. I'll go with this guy right here. Oop, hold on. I gotta peel off the layer that's on top. Okay, so you got your sticky tab. You get your nail and you stick your sticky tab in the nail. Then you kinda wanna push it down so that it sticks to the nail. And then you just take this plastic backing off. All right, set that to the side. You wanna get your nail glue. And what you're gonna do is you can put the nail glue on your nail. So weird. They had the sticker like over the packaging for the nail glue. I think I need to cut this as well. This is one of the ones you gotta cut open. So I'm just gonna use these scissors and cut it open. Sometimes like they're already open and then other times you have to cut the top and I never know which is which. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need like bigger scissors. There we go. Oh great, it just spilled all over my finger. Yay! <laughs> all right, great. Now I have nail glue all over my fingies. All over my fingies. Okay, Lord have mercy, I'm a mess. So now that I'm efficiently covered in nail glue, let's get this show on the road. So you're gonna take the nail glue, you're gonna squirt that on your nail. And then I just kind of squirt and spread it out. I don't get, I try not to get too close to like my skin and stuff. So then you take your nail that's got the sticky tab and you stick it down. Trying to avoid air bubbles, if at all, like make sure it's straight. And you have a little play time with nail glue, which is the one thing I like about it. And then I just kind of hold this here for like 10, 20 seconds until it's stuck down. Take a look at it, make sure it looks nice. Maybe should have put a little more glue back here cause I definitely have an air bubble, but that's okay. It's fine. Continue holding and then our nail is on. So then I just take my little file here and just file that edge to get the little piece off the end. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now I'm gonna do all the rest like that. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like when I'm done. And then we'll kind of just give my final thoughts. <laughs> okay. OMG, they're adorable, darling. They're so stinking cute. Now, I was so excited to tell you about all the money that you were gonna save that I forgot to tell you how much these are. They are $11.99, all of them, every single one of them, except I think maybe the toes might be a little cheaper. I'll let you know on screen if that's true or not because I'm not sure, but they're all $11.99, which is like not that unrealistic considering that's what you're paying for like drugstore press-ons at 
the moment. So I'm happy with the price. I think it's fair. I think it works. And I mean, you're getting two, you're getting 24 pieces and they're reusable. If you remove them properly, like in soapy hot water, you can most certainly reuse the nails again. So I don't see anything wrong with that. One thing I'm going to mention is these are curved. They are very curved. So I did have like a hard time with some of them. Like I said, the middle finger, I kind of had hard sizing and the index finger for some reason, which is like my most curved nail. Like I noticed I had to push down to get it to like stay, but I don't know if you can see. I'm going to try to like zoom you in here. If you can see the curve on that and maybe like the thumb, I don't know if you can tell, but they are definitely curved. The color on screen is like not really showing off realistically what it looks like in person. I feel like it's almost making it look a little more like yellowy green than like the true green that it is because I find these to be really stinking cute. I wish that I had these on St. Patty's Day because these would have been it, but overall I'm pretty impressed Betty Cora. Now I will say these are like not made out of gel. If that's what you're looking for, that's not what they are. They're just your, you know, your typical press on nails. But like I said, they have like hundreds of designs and they're all different. So I do believe that if you went on their website, you would find something that you like. You know, I say give them a shot. They're really stinking cute. They've got fun designs, not like what you would typically find in the drugstore, not your typical French. They've got all kinds of stuff, like all kinds of stuff. I saw a Pikachu one. A Pikachu now. Who doesn't love Pikachu? I mean, I'm not really a big fan of him, but maybe one of you does. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Betty Cora. Let me bring the nails back out. Thank you so much for sending me these and letting me try them out. I can't wait to try out the toes or even the minis. Like I'm excited for a day when I just don't really feel like wearing long nails. I could just pop these on, but still not have to really do anything to my nails for that matter. I love having press on nails on hand because I don't always do both my hands at the same time. Actually, I never do both my hands at the same time. So it's nice that when I have to go out in public, I can pop on press-ons on the other hand and like not feel embarrassed by it. So <laughs> thank you once again to Betty Cora. Thank you once again to you guys, my fam, my fam jam. You guys are my fam jam if you didn't know that. So before you leave, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button so you never miss a Manny with me. Bye guys.